I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question on complex numbers. The question is, write two complex numbers u and v such that u square plus v square equals to 0. Now how to do this kind of equation? Uh, one of my suggestions is that we can work with general values and then figure out one answer. So let us say our complex numbers are a plus bi and the other one is let us say uh, c plus di then what will be the square of these then the squares will be let's figure out squares of these numbers will be like this correct that means you're going to multiply the number by itself so we get a plus bi times a plus bi correct so when i multiply i get a square a b i plus a b i again and when i multiply these i get plus b square and i square which is minus b square right so i'm just cutting short by one step it should be b square i square you know i square is minus one so i wrote this negative correct so at this stage i think we can do that right the second one is c plus di whole square. So the same thing, c plus di times c plus di. And when you square it, you get the same thing, which is c square plus cd i plus, again, cdi minus di whole square, which becomes minus d square. So you get the same thing. Now the question is, when you add these two, when you add these two, you should get zero. That is the question. The question is, if I add these two, I should get zero. That is the question. How to find these two? Now, if you compare these values, to make it zero, what should we do? We should make, if I make D as negative of B, then can it work? No. But if I make D as A, I hope it will work. This minus, right? And C as B, then we get minus here, right? C as B. So think about it. So if I make C equals to B and D equals to A, right? In that case, I'm able to actually cancel out these two. But then how will I cancel out these ones? That is kind of tricky. So what I can do is, one of them I can make negative. That is, uh, I could have one of them as negative. In that case, I'll get negative numbers here, and then they will cancel out. Right? C times D, C times D will be AB, so they will add up to get them cancelled off one of them should be negative. So let me make any one of them negative. So I'll make uh, D negative, okay, D negative of A. So that is kind of learning from our equation and then we'll try it out. So we say let U be equals to A plus B I and V be equals to, instead of C plus D I, I'm, really, I'm changing C as B, so I'm writing this as B, and d s minus a minus a i then i think some of the squares will be zero so these are my values for u and v correct so that's my answer now what we will do is we'll just check whether it works or not correct so let us do a plus b i whole square is already known to us which is a square plus a b We'll write a square plus, I'm not combining them on purpose, right? I could write 2 times a b i, but let it be like this. Plus a b i minus b square. Now what is b minus a i? So, that will be b times a i, right? So we have to multiply this 2 times. So that will be 
you can use the quadratic formula also correct so b square which is the first term minus 2 times both which is minus 2 times a b or b i i plus this one is square of a i so a i whole square that is what you get now let me expand this one so b square minus 2 a b i a square is written a square but i square is negative so we get negative a square correct now if you look into these two equations and add them then b square minus b square do you see that they cancel out a square minus a square cancel out minus 2ab so plus 2ab this is plus 2ab right with i so they also imaginary parts also cancel out do you see that part so it becomes zero so what we verified here is that indeed a plus b i whole square plus b minus a i whole square is equal to zero right so these are general complex numbers and that is how you can get two complex numbers whose sum of squares is zero right so the answer i could write let's be specific we say two plus i whole square uh, I'm sorry is the first number and let this be u equals to u and v for us will be now 1 right this value is 1 so we'll write 1 minus 2i is it okay so that becomes the other variable so in the simplest form this is a good example to give so general value is any variable so we what we do is we swap the real and the imaginary term and change the sign you could make either b minus or a minus one of them since we need negative here i hope that works so what i'm trying to say here is we could also be we have to swap minus b plus ai will also work right so any so or we can say or these so for you these are my general answers right I hope this general formula helps you to understand how to answer this question. Thank you and all the best.